All right, we're going to learn how to put a sound slides, uh, slideshow together and upload it to the web. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our uh, images all in one place with no other files in them. Uh, so here, and I've cropped these, I've got them exactly the way I want, I've done all the retouching, etc. Um, that I'm going to do. So you want them to totally be ready. So that's step one, and it's inside a folder that doesn't have anything else in it. All right, so step two um, in this case is we're going to go down, we're going to go to soundslides.com and you're going to download a demo. And you're going to download a demo of uh, the Mac or Windows version of Soundslides Plus. All right, so go ahead and do that. Um, then what we're going to do, let me close that window, um, we're going to actually uh, open up Soundslides. So I've got Soundslides Plus right here. And I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to say create a new project. And um, I'm going to give it a new folder name here on the desktop. I'll call it test project. Now we'll call it um, endorsements. I can spell it. Okay. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call that endorsements. And I'm keeping the name simple because it's going to create uh, the folders we need for the web. So keep the, the name simple. So I'll save in there. And um, we're going to load our, we're not doing a, uh, audio sound slides. We're just doing a basic uh, uh, JPEG. So we're going to take that. And I'm going to go to, uh, I've got to find it. There we go. And there they are. So it's choosing a folder, not um, the actual slides themselves. So I'm hitting opening, and it's going to import it. Great. And we're going to say slideshow only, skip audio. And it's building it. All right, now that we've got them um, in sound slides, you can see over here you can move them around, change the order, do all that kind of stuff you want with them. Um, then you want to go through and put your caption information here. You can also use HTML tags in there if you want, and do a little coding if you want to link to things. Um, Click on the movement in terms of um, this kind of does a Ken Burns effect, um, but I don't get into that much. Um, clicking back on slides, you can come over here to template. Um, this allows you to turn the header on and off. Uh, the header is right over here in this project information. There. Um, it'll show that up here. And then this basically um, allows you to play the thing automatically. Right here, it shows you the number of, and this is if it's set on autoplay. It allows you to turn the captions on and off, show credits, and the best thing to do here is just to play around with it. Uh, you can also import various settings, but we use the preset plain white, um, or plain black can work too, but white's probably better. Uh, we do have one for the universe somewhere. Uh, but you can learn more about that on the web desk. Then, um, when, you're, when you're ready, you've got all your captions in. Um, obviously, we want to save this every once in a while. Uh, and then we can um, test it and see how it looks uh, just in a web browser. And so we can go and check our controls here. Uh, we can hide the captions. As you can see, they're turning on and off here. We want the uh, captions to just um, slide up. So let me go back to the first one. Okay. I believe they pop up if you roll over. I can't remember which one I put it in. But you want to get your um, captions so they're, they're, they're appearing there um, right away, not hidden. Um, these are controllers that the user has. So that looks pretty good. So I can close that. I can go back into Sound Slides and I can say, okay, it's time to export it. So I'll click Export. 
and it'll put that in the original folder that I created and it's called publish to web and let's look at that a little more closely All right, now we're looking at the folder where the SoundSides project is and the Publish to Web folder. Um, this is the original SoundSlides project if I want to open it again and look at it some more. And these are the various uh, uh, preview files that are created and it also creates a bunch of sizes. But what you want right here is the Publish to Web folder. That's what you're going to put on the web. But you don't want to keep it called that because that would um, copy over anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that to um, endorsements. And again, you want to keep it simple because that's going to end up being part of your URL. So let's move to that, that phase. Okay, now I'm ready for the next phase. I've opened up FileZilla. I've entered in the host, uh, the username, and the uh, password information I've been given or you've been given including the port number and all I'm going to do is drag this file that's got everything I need in it that was originally called publish to web I'm going to take that and drag it into the directory and it's going to copy everything I need there okay now we're going to test to make sure it's working so you remember that name endorsements and um, I'm going to type in um, multimedia47.com, the folder that I put it in, slash uh, endorsements, slash index.html. There it is right there. Okay, so now it's literally on the web. Now what we want to do is we want to take this URL and use it in the embed code that uh, that um, slideshows provides us. So let's go and get that. I'll go and grab that. Oh, I'm doing a Google search for sound slides embed code utility. Return. And there it is right there. And what it asks for is the URL of the slideshow. So I'm going to go back and find, <laughs> there's the slideshow. And I'm going to put that in there. Okay, I'll hit continue. And now it shows that it's working. Then it gives you an actual embed code. Now you can change the sizes and so forth. We're not going to worry about that. I'm going to copy that embed code. And now I'm going to go to my uh, WordPress, and I'm going to take and uh, have the, the uh, actual post that I'm working on. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to write an intro. And I'm going to take right in here, when I go in the HTML code view, I'm going to paste that code right in there. And I'm going to go back to visual, and you'll see that the flash code is there now. I'm going to hit update. So it actually publishes, and I'll view the post. And here it is. And you can see that what I need to do, because it's cut off, I need to go in and change the, the size of it. Now, I'm not going to uh, do that right now because, uh, well, I guess I could. But our, um, our particular, whatever you publish on, the width of this might be a little bit different. So I'm going to go back into here, and I have to change it um, proportionally. So just to make sure it fits, I'm going to go to like 500. So I'm going to go 500. That's going to be my width divided by 620. And so it's 80%. So change this to 500. And I'm going to change... Um, 533, I can find my calculator, 533 times 0 0.80 equals 426, change that to 426, okay, and you can see it should have changed it, now let me hit modify, there we go, 
Okay, and see now it's smaller. So now I can take that same embed code, go back into here, edit post, go back to my HTML, and I'll grab that code. It's the begin object and end object code. Now I'll paste my new code in there, hit update. View post, and now it's plenty, plenty, plenty small. Um, and that's how you embed it. I've also provided some other uh, kind of reminder tutorials uh, if you need some more help, but this should do the trick. Thanks.